Hi YouTube, welcome back. This is part two of my 2014 favourites and we're on to the eyes. Um, cream products this year I loved. Um, can I just show you? I showed the um, Iconica Tonio Gucci pencil in my part one and said it moved a lot. And then I went away just to wash my hands. You can see the other things I was swatching came off and that one stayed alarmingly put. It's an interesting illustration, I think, of how um, things can be fast on your uh, ordinary skin that don't remain completely colour fast on the much oilier um, skin around the eyes. Um, so I always think it's a bit of a cheat when people show you um, how colour fast things are on the back of the hand because it doesn't always uh, react the same way on different skins. Anyway, that's a side issue. I loved cream eye products this year. Uh, I bought a ton of them. I'm just testing my Dolce & Gabbana ones in the last few days. Can't comment on those yet. But two absolute favourites in the past, and it's the same this year, from Tom Ford and Chanel. Tom Ford uh, in the autumn brought out two cream colours. Uh, I loved both of them. This one, Platinum, I've used a ton, and you can see there's still a ton left because they're wonderfully um, pigmented, lasting colours. This is Platinum. The other was Spice. Um, I'll put a bit more on there because it's not showing up. They're just wonderful. They go on like a dream. They feel gorgeous on your skin because they're so kind of dimensional and you can blend them out. To be honest, you can do what looks like quite a complex eye makeup just using this one product and a bit of mascara. And uh, it's so easy and looks so good. Uh, I considered buying a backup, but, you know, I've really given up buying backups because the truth is, you know, new wonderful products come out all the time. So um, my resolution really has just been to buy one and use it. And this is going to last for ages. Love, love, love it. I think it's probably sold out now. If you can get your hands on one, oh, you'd be a fool not to. I love the uh, Illusion Dom from Chanel as well. I bought several of them this year. I quite like the Holiday Edition one, although it hasn't been popular with some people. It's a kind of peachy shade, which is unusual at this time of year. But hands down, my favourite for a year this year, and they brought out a lot of them, is this one from the spring, which was kind of odd in the spring, but I've worn it a lot um, in the autumn and winter, and it's Dear Passant. Um, a gorgeous multifaceted purple, just, just beautiful. I'm planning on wearing this one on New Year's Eve with, believe it or not, some Tom Ford Emerald Lust, which is uh, a blue and turquoise palette over the top. That may sound quite garish, but I've been practicing and I think it's a beautiful look. Um, this um, Dear Passant, you can smoke out quite a lot. Again, very easy to apply, doesn't crease on the eyelid. I don't know whether you can still get them anywhere. Again, if you can, highly, highly recommend um, two beautiful, beautiful products, which would probably be up there as my absolute favourites of the year because they're just so easy to use, um, so versatile and so universally flattering. Um, get them. My favourite holiday palette this year came from Guerlain. I just thought the packaging, the presentation, I thought the whole Christmas holiday collection from Guerlain was beautiful. Um, by far the nicest holiday collection. Uh, and I really have enjoyed this palette. Um, I don't think I'm going to get as much use out of it as some palettes um, because it's quite warm toned for me. Uh, but I was using um, these two colours quite a lot uh, in December when I was away, took this palette with me. And surprisingly enough, given there's a bit of shimmer in most of the colours, um, those two together were fairly work appropriate. Um, lovely kind of goldy bronze. And then this one I really, really liked, uh, a really nice medium bronze. So used those quite a bit. Uh, and I just love the palette. I mean, it's a beautiful design. But the revelation to me was actually the blushes, um, which I've used quite a lot. Super pigmented. Uh, they're going to last for ages. I particularly liked this um, deep plummy um, rose and used that a lot. And there were two little highlighters as well. So I think that was definitely my um, favourite Christmas palette. 
although as I've also mentioned I did love the um, Burberry gold palette and I think although that came out as a holiday edition and very festive gold packaging um, you could use it for a party look but it's actually a very very versatile palette and again I've been using this a lot and I expect to use it a lot in the coming months. These are just very easy, blendable colours. Um, somebody asked me on my video where I was showing this, um, whether this um, palette format, the colours were more scratchy than the individual colours which she'd brought. Um, I've never bought one of these palettes before from Burberry, so I don't know how they compare with the individual shadows generally, which... I have bought and do like, um, but I found this um, was good quality, super blendable, um, worked for me very, very well indeed. Palette of the year, probably this fella, um, although there's a tie really for two. This was Tom Ford's Unabashed. It started to look a bit bashed in my handbag, even though I keep it in its pouch. Uh, loved, love, love the design. Never expected to buy this uh, when I saw it advertised. Very put off by the blue, uh, but I got it. I loved it. I just think the design is gorgeous. This corally peach was probably my favourite blush of the year. I haven't been wearing it in recent months, but I wore it throughout spring and summer. Hardly made a dent in it. So pigmented, but easy to work with, with just a bit of um, goldy shimmer. And I also really, really liked this um, matte uh, brown. I don't wear matte shadows very much. Uh, perhaps I should do more because uh, I invariably got compliments when I did a very simple eye makeup using this matte shadow and I did grow to love the blue as well although I mean that's going to last a lifetime it's so pigmented and you need so little so um, I just thought that was such an unusual um, palette in design in the choice of the colours that were put together um, but I it was actually very usable as well I used it a lot uh, that I would say that's probably my palette of the year. Although, very close contender. Um, the more famous one that everybody wanted and fought for, Tom Ford's new dip again. Um, you can see I haven't made that much impression on it, although I did wear it quite a lot in the early fall. Uh, I'm less keen on it all as a, a winter palette, so I'll definitely come back to it in the spring. I still do marginally prefer Enchanted, which I've talked about before as my all-time favourite palette. But this is, you know, a great palette and uh, definitely up there as one of two favourites. And another very close contender was from MAC. The Pedro Lorenco uh, collection came out in the spring. Um, MAC had a reasonable year. I bought quite a few things from them. Uh, mostly I preferred the design to the quality of the products but this was an exception and I just used this uh, a you know a huge amount again there's a mat here that uh, I used um, there were two in here all that glitters and sable um, which are in the permanent collection but it was just kind of useful to have them in a quad and then these two new colors uh, I really enjoyed just for a simple nude um, eye look so that was you know, pretty much up there as a real favourite this year. Also this year, Gucci started their um, makeup collection and uh, my favourite items were the quads, um, although all of the items that I bought I liked. I really like the concept of this one. Is this the deco one? Yeah, Cosmic Deco. Um, I'm not a great smoky eye girl, so I haven't actually used this a huge amount. This was the first one I bought. Um, just love the design. Uh, but I'm very fond of this kind of goldy, greeny shadow. So I have used that quite a lot. It's got real kind of gold olive undertones. Um the, the other bits in there, not quite as much, um, but I like it very much. And then I bought later on, it was sold out at the beginning, one of the really popular ones, which was Tuscan Storm. 
Um, it doesn't look as if I've used it a lot. Again, it's a, a nice neutral palette. Um, I just bought so much in the fall that I didn't, you know, use as much as I might do. But I really liked this palette. Really liking this kind of, again, slightly matte um, toffee colour and very pretty taupe. Just the right amount of shimmer for me because I like a bit of shimmer but not, you know, too much and certainly not any glitter. Um, I probably will buy more of their palettes, like them a lot. I did buy a lot of other Tom Fords. Um, I think I got three. I'm kind of building up my permanent collection. And again, because I've bought so much, haven't had the chance to use most of them, but really like Sahara Haze. And I can see myself using that a lot more in the winter months. So that's part two. We've still got a lot to look at. Um, those are the eyes. I should just throw in to finish the eyes. Mascara, um, Le Volume remains my favourite. Now I've picked the wrong one out here. Uh, it was a plum one that I really liked and am really liking, but they remain my mascara of choice. See you in a minute for uh, Lips and Nails. Bye for now.